yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. What's up guys, welcome back to day four of Build Wars. We have been working like crazy, getting these golf carts ready to race at our event, Cletus and Cars, this weekend at Bradenton Motorsports Park. We're super pumped up. Both golf carts have their street bike engines mounted up, pretty much ready to rip. Both carts even have the axles in them, so they're very diverse. The Boosted Boys have a really different setup compared to ours. They are both street bike motors, but we're talking different CCs, different axle styles, all different mounting. Totally different styles of the builds, but we got a whole bunch of stuff to do to our cart today. Theirs is looking like it might drive out of here today, but we got a whole bunch of stuff. Today we're working on the shifter, we're working on the chain, we're working on the brakes, we're working on the clutch. A whole bunch of stuff, and hopefully we can get it all knocked out by the end of the day, be close to driving, and then tomorrow take it on its maiden voyage. This is centered on that mark we made yesterday. Yeah. Let me put the seat in here so I can sit in it. This is going to be a nice little golf course to cruise in, you know? Waka, waka, waka. Ying, ying, ying. <laughs> exactly that. I'm calling it now. Jump, to, jump back to this clip when I go, yeah, and fall over. <laughs> I, I have a feeling this thing's going to tip over within the week. Can you drive that? You're going to need more than that. Meow. <laughs> Sloppy, bro. Hey, it's not, yeah, it's not tight. Why is this thing so sloppy? Bro, because it's the boosted for us. It's nice for, you know, what you're capable of. <laughs> Can't wait to see yours. Next week, right? Yeah. If you want to measure from where the seat goes to the edge of the motor, and cut the seat, the base of the seat. Yeah, you can do that, wherever it is. Oh, I think ours is being used as a cushion over here. I just don't want it to set up and be like resting on my knee. I mean, that that's well, good. If it stays right there, that's totally fine. Yeah, that's where it's gonna be. I'm gonna hold it while you grab it. It's not. It's not stuck in this. This weld just on here. It's already broke off the weld. Anyone can weld if they've got a grinder. Everyone's a welder with a grinder. It's already tighter than Amelia's. Well, you gotta run it real hot, real fast, or less it uh, doesn't weigh off. Yeah. A little fire? Right on the last time this thing will be on fire. Jump back to that clip when that happens. <laughs> the amount of leverage we're gonna have once this is hooked up, it's gonna be a nice little Click. Yeah, leave it like that. Damn, son, look at that. It's not tight yet, but it's all. It's not fully tight, but dude, Visual. it's really nice. Like it's actually pretty firm. There's really no play in it. Rotate this bracket a little bit. So to go down gears or to go up gears, going back. I think I'm all the way up. That's all the way down. That should be neutral. Is that neutral? Did I go to seconds? I wonder if we have it the wrong way. So that's... Ah, oh, so it's actually, you it's, have to push it forward to go up a gear. Yeah, it should be first and then second, third, okay. fourth. You want to go forward first. Yeah, I thought we had it the other way, but here we are. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You'll get used to it though, you drive it one time though, well, and then. Well, you, it's, it, you know, it's, 
go up, 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 up. Down, down, yeah. So. That'll work. I cut it straight so it matches the fender and then yeah, the body like rolls right here this should be a, about one inch past the body right now so once we get the body on yeah. fit it to, we'll just cut it flush with the it body. might look really cool honestly yeah. Woohoo! dude we're almost done fabricating stuff shifters done we got to just get the uh clutch mounted on here because it'll have a clutch handle run the cable for the clutch right here and then got to do the uh the chain obviously which we got the master link for that today and then the brakes this is our caliper mount it's gonna go right here land on the caliper we just gotta cut a little bit more off smoothing that out but once that's done that's kind of it for fabricating besides the wheelie bars which kevin comes back tomorrow and he's actually bringing an old set of wheelie bars that he had with him so we'll have to buy them for fair market value but then we don't have to build them here all right we got a clutch perch and handle Six dollar battery tie down, and I uh, got this used off a guy. Got our chain, got our master link ready to go in. Hopefully, we can have the chain set up here in a minute, and we'll be ready to put it in gear for the first time. I'm scared for the axle, but I also, while I was out, found a Raptor 660 with a rear end that the guy will sell to me for 200 bucks. So, worst comes to worst, if that rear end doesn't hold up, we know of an axle not far away from here we can go get. We are uh, about to do our first test here. See if this thing will, will rip. We got the chain on, we got our little skateboard wheel tensioner thing, which... Yeah, that thing's pretty trick. Hard to say if it'll hold out. We've seen, uh, saw a couple images on Google of people using stuff like this. People building their own tensioners for street bikes at home. Oh, you saw it on Google? Yeah. So oh, you're good. I gave it a search, because James was like, hey, we should try this. I was like, all right, well, let me see if someone's tried this before. And it is, it has in fact been done. So, can a skateboard wheel really survive 11,000 RPM? Not sure, but we will find out. enough to where I killed it. Yeah, but this house, really, that's spinning. Can we get that other clutch handle that we have to work, maybe? No, it has the same, once it's on here, on this thing, I can't get, I can't massage it as much to here, but if you look at it, it's like in the same position. Same position, so. You know, even, I guess, it's even with the adjustability. It's like one's all the way yeah. back, six is all the way forward. Even with it all the way forward, in this same position, it has, the same if not less throw than this one. Okay. We're ball guy. We've all broken one of these on our bicycles as children. It's just mandatory. I didn't have a 10 speed. <laughs> I did but I had brakes on mine. <laughs> Switch, it's a safety thing for sure, dude. It's then it's the kickstand switch or okay. something. I think the kickstand's down, so we gotta find the plug that went to the kickstand. Okay. And then jump it. Because it's like I was giving it gas as I engaged it on that one, and it was just like throttle dead. So right. we'll find out what plugs on the kickstand. We'll see where he's yeah. taped up in the harness, and then we're just gonna jump the wire. We'll figure it out. Done deal. There you go. All right, we found the wire. We actually had the harness 
on the uh, bike still. So we just started plugging it in places and then it went in one. So we think that's it. So we're gonna tie it together. See if uh, Find your missing piece. yourself a machine yeah we do i think this thing needs some spark plugs too he was saying he was telling me he's like, a fresh set of plugs goes a long way a lot of these we might throw some plugs in it tomorrow depending on how the budget looks but uh, primarily we need to keep the 200 dollars around at least like 300 actually for the axle because tomorrow we're going to test this thing if the axle breaks we're going straight to this guy getting his raptor 660 rear end and putting it in this trying oh, to a raptor i honestly think this is going to hold up once there's a piece of steel shoved through, or piece of chromoly shoved through the middle of it. What do you think, James? Well, even if we just, if this, with the sleeves and the insert shaft on this deal, if it, if it strips a key, the only thing left they could do on that point is strip the keyway. If it strips a keyway, we just make sure that sprocket's good and then weld it to the axle shaft itself. Because yeah. the big fear about welding it the first time was making it weak by getting it so hot. Yeah. But now that it's gonna be sleeved with chromoly and inserted with chromoly, it's yeah. just there to hold stuff at that point. It holds no integrity. We're going all out. Should we put the wheels on it and pull it forward a foot just so we can say we go over it first? Yeah. Oh, we have no way to keep the wheel on there, but the wheels could come off the axle. They'll be on. Are you just gonna floor it into the wall? Yeah, it's a, I'd go wide open. I mean, there's not really much other option, is there? No. <laughs> We want to see how you want to. Hey, we were gonna see how you want to. How you're gonna launch it? Yeah, the wheelie test. Test one. It'll drive up the wall. It will be really cool. These steering wheels are pretty forgiving. My biggest fear crashing this is steering wheel like. That would suck. I mean, that's what would happen. Might want to put like a real race column in it one day. That motion easy go column. The easy go kit, motion race works. All right, boys, we're about to drive ours first. All right, dude, you got this. All right, I should be able to do this all on my own. Yeah, you do this all on your own. This morning they're gonna do that with theirs. <laughs> oh, there we go, boys. But does it have reverse? Does it? Yeah. You need to push. Alright, we're going home for the day. You guys have fun. If you don't pop a wheelie right out of here, I'm dude. Not come on. <laughs> we don't got brakes just like you. I, I saw you. You're, you got me, bro. Hold on, hold on. Let's just strap wall. Emilio in here, bro. Strap Emilio in. Bro, that's not going to fit around me, is it? <laughs> Are we ready? Hold on, I put Emilio's seatbelt on. Oh my god. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to die. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's. Oh, yeah. I have no, to put that. Yeah. Is that safe? 
Here, here, oh, stand. I can release it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got a quick release. Yeah. Oh. Hey, you guys know for the wheelie, right? You can't have people riding on the back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, Jamie. You just wanted to add that now? Yeah. Well, Remember what happened last game time game you and Amelia were involved in a golf cart? This is a bad idea. Oh, no, they're That's why we're on a separate team now. Dude, right. he's got bad balance. I've seen this tuck and roll. <laughs> bad balance. <laughs> Pretty serious one. Right. Wasn't my fault. Yeah, well, we bought a right. I might die. Here, this thing's gonna take me. Oh, that start. That battery rips. What did you do? You didn't put the it's a uh, jump thing box. Back up. Did you? Sensor? Did you? Yeah, it did. Okay. Oh, it's a jump box. Yeah. Oh, we got a battery. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna send it. <laughs> Amelia goes oh, down. Oh, oh, oh. I pushed it back. I keep you it. need to put a oh, don't pedal push stop. It. Don't push it. Keep it. Keep it down. You just can't even talk. Wait, who put the throttle all together? Oh, Amelia, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing he did in that. get into it too much because our throttle pedal's sticking so if I push the gas it just stays stuck and we don't have brakes so I was reaching under here to kind of stop that from happening so I couldn't really get on it too much but at least it's putting around and it feels really good yeah once good the start. throttle cable's fixed and the brakes work I think it's ready to it's ready to rip it's, finished mountain it's scary I was just blipping the throttle and you can tell yeah, it, it was wheelie that nose up. it would definitely wheel it 100% nice. we need to put wheelie bars on it well guys, we are finished up with day four and the cart is looking insane. So all day we've been worried about the Thaxel and Kevin was back at his shop up in Gainesville and he even called and was like, guys, this axle is just not gonna work. Even though we spent $500 of our budget on it, granted the bearings were the most expensive part, we spent at least half of that on the axle tube and the hubs for our chain and for our wheels. Well, instead of working, Kevin actually has something in the works that he's gonna be bringing with us. So we're gonna be able to use some of the parts that we already have for every axle and some new parts that he's coming with. So that's a, that's a very comforting feeling because I've been super concerned about the axle. I even went and found that four wheeler axle like I said earlier in the video. But I think what Kevin's got going and what he's coming back with tomorrow is gonna be our ticket. So the golf cart looks amazing. We're just mounting up the fuel tank right now. The seat is done, the shifter is done, the clutch is done. The exhaust is done, the rear axle is actually done, but we're gonna be swapping out some parts tomorrow, which you guys will see, and I think you guys will really like. 
we want to really rip this thing, we, we got to do it right. We ordered some Junior Dragster tires. By the end of Kevin getting here with what he spent on the, the new parts, we're going to have about 150 bucks left, I think. Maybe, maybe 200 But we got all of our receipts from the day. We already put most of it on there. I mean, you guys can see what we spent. Just a bunch of little stuff like throttle linkage, brackets, brake line, paint, exhaust. Uh, skateboard wheel and bearing, just a whole bunch of random stuff. Plus, I know we have some metal right now that's not on there at the moment. We got to uh, start being tight with our money. We definitely have gotten some really good parts though, so I think this thing's going to hold up incredibly well. There's a few concerns I have with the chain and our chain tensioner that we built. I'm really not that comfortable with it. I want to kind of improve upon it tomorrow, but running out of time today. We're heading down to the track to drop some stuff off for Cleason Cars, which is Saturday. So freaking excited, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. What's up guys? Welcome to day five of Build Wars. Today is our last day to make this golf cart a full blown bogger, but it already kind of is. So putting body panels on today, we are working on Let's see, we gotta bleed the brakes. Actually, they're pretty good, but we're gonna re-bleed them. James keeps spray painting stuff. Cooper got spaghetti sauce all over the intake, so we're trying to get that off the valves right now. What are you doing, Coop? That's just, just reminiscing on- Admiring the build quality. It actually is a pretty well-built. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice, you know, you, you have all this room right here, you can fill out your uh, tech card while you're cruising up. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> your tech card. Yeah. Dude, you know, you fit really well in this thing. You're gonna have to drive it on our, at our rental. <laughs> Victor was like, hey, we're retiring these things after cleaning cars, right? And I was like, no. The owner of the track. You best believe we're gonna be racing this thing a ton. I am so impressed by how well it turned out though. Freaking James crushed it, Coop crushed it, Kevin killed it, and Kevin's on his way right now with a steel, well, actually a chromoly tube for our rear end instead of the aluminum tube. So we're gonna be sliding the aluminum axle out, putting a solid chromoly inch and a quarter shaft in there, which would be much stronger. And uh, oh, all in all, he spent 65 bucks on materials. Grab that shifter, give it a yank. It's forward, right? So yeah, like you go one down and then the rest up. It's one down, five up. But it, it won't really shift unless it's running. Yeah, it won't fall on the gear. But dude, the brake pedal, super sketchy, but awesome. Super and uh, just getting ready to finish up cutting up the body panels and we'll be good to go. How are you feeling about all this? It's been a long week. <laughs> dude, you have like crushed it. A lot of times when we do projects, I can tell like James interest level in it just by how his productivity is and on the golf cart he has been full bog <laughs> i mean full rip so i'm excited to see much back half the golf cart and put a thousand liter or thousand cc motor in. yeah you know what the best part is though is it's such a small chassis it's like miniature jobs you know like to do the things we did to this on a normal car would take a month but it's all on such a small scale we were able to knock it out and uh i'm really pumped to see everyone drive this thing because it's gonna be a handful for anybody, but we got to have some tires. Got to show you. Other than that, we're draining the roof because it was full of water and things Amelia are looking awesome. Something you wanted to say. Oh yeah. yeah. So I just want to let you guys know you guys are doing a really good job, man. I've been watching you guys. Dude, thanks, man. Yeah. Where thanks. are your yoga pants that you had on last night? Just don't let this guy drive. You guys know Emilio sleeps in yoga pants. Something I learned this week. Yeah. Don't you? No. Oh, you gotta try it, brother. <laughs> The stretch is real. Yeah, bro. <laughs> there was those ones that you could see through because they were stretched yeah. out. Yeah. In the sunlight when you bend over it, spreads <laughs> yeah. the fabric. Come on, everybody knows that. So. You can do those ninja kicks. That's true. Dude, by the way, your interviews in the Build Wars Day Three video. Good. Dude, you're, I was nervous, man. You're, you know, that's a big, big deal. Man for TV, I, bro. That kind of hurts. Like right here, I can feel it. Yeah, you can feel it. No. Yeah. Okay. So. No, no, actually, to be honest, the other camera, the other cameras are a little bit scarier. Like when you're talking they to are. them, you even though it's like, it's, it's, it's us. It's not thing, like it's Discovery Channel. There's no the intentions of TV, but it's just kind of fun. All right, cool. Let's get into it. So last night and yesterday, we were able to pretty much knock out almost everything on the cart. It, you know, exhaust is done, it's fully wired, tanks mounted, shifter's good, we have brakes, everything's there. The only thing we're waiting on to do is fit the last body panel, put the roof on, 
And then Kevin's coming with the uh, pieces for the rear end, the caps to hold the wheels on. We're gonna beef it up a little bit. He's also coming with a, with a set of wheelie bars he had found that he had been laying around for a while. So it's gonna look pretty extreme today when there's a set of wheelie bars almost the length of the wheelbase of the golf cart hanging off the back. So today's gonna be like the button up day, go through everything, make sure everything's tight, make sure everything's good, and then potentially drive it up and down the road and give it a test in case we do break something we have the back half of the day to get it done for tomorrow just check everything out i think i've got <laughs> what <laughs> the skateboard i know uh, i was gonna hold up <laughs> i love it oh i was gonna hold up all right so hold up i got a uh, what about uh idler pulley you got like two kids do you have an idler pulley i got a ton of them Does i mean it's way bigger than that though on? yeah that's fine yeah, I just saw the Kian thing right there. It's crazy all the old. The Dallas match? Right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I love it, dude. <laughs> Woo! She's bad. Wow. You guys put me wrong. Last, last time I seen this, it was in pretty snatch. I don't want to hear it sketchy. <laughs> it's guy. I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry here. Sketchy, you let me down. So we're waiting on Kevin to get here. He's got uh, our, our new axle that we'll be changing out for. We're gonna do a budget count right now. We're literally gonna have maybe 150 bucks left after this. So proud of the cart, man. She's a freaking baby. She's a ripper. It actually took a lot of time to calculate the budget of $3,000. Me, Victor, the owner of the track, and our buddy Alan, we spent a pretty good amount of time thinking, you know what, maybe 3,500, maybe 2,500, maybe 2,000. We were calling motorcycle shops saying, how much is a, a running wrecked bike? Uh, seeing how much, you know, trying to calculate what we would need and other, you know, money for the rear end. I looked at rear end, stuff like that. It kind of got in the $500 ballpark area. And that's how we came up with the $3,000 budget, which it looks like it's working out perfect. Granted the fact that we aren't using our $500 rear end we're using some of it, so we're not using about, I'd say half of it because we're taking the big shaft out. You know, that was a decent part of the money. And, but we're not taking it off our budget because we bought it. Unless, you know, we get to a point where we need some money, maybe we'll talk to the boys, but I think we're good. I think we're gonna stay in budget even with the extra parts we're not using. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that ours? Is. Yo, no, hey, listen to no, this. No, I said, I said, oh, you no shot, bro. Right, Inside of that, you don't want us to compete. 100, 100 bucks. 100 right. bucks? Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, just, <laughs> just chill. Bro. We need it. No, no. You know, we, he doesn't, deal, he doesn't deal with that part of it. You're going to have to talk to me. All right, 100 bucks, take it or leave it. <laughs> yeah, we're just not going to. We can't do 100 bucks. I mean, we have all the bargaining well, You owed us 40. You owed us 40 already. I packed up and go back we... to Colorado. <laughs> no, I can't no, do no, it. You gotta, just chill. <laughs> I, got, I got this, bro. You got to make him feel sorry for you, bro. Come on. That's what I was trying to do. You gotta pack up. <laughs> We're gone, Shed's man. Shed's a tear. Spine, take it back. Hey, we just grabbed it. Call off the production. All right, All right. what do you think, Fair? That's a 2012 Fair? CBR 1000 Let me see how much I think Fair left. market value is like this. Let me see how much pad life left. Yeah, James, good call. All right, all right. so listen. Bro, these are brand new pads on here. Okay. Hold on, I can make them on. not brand new. We're gonna, make a, we're gonna make a double deal here, right? Okay. So they use, you guys use part of our seat. We Which, got another seat we could give you back. No, I, but I think, what was the total for the wheels? I think that's fair trade. Was I think that's fair trade. That is a fair for trade. For the seat, for, for the wheels? No, they were also wheels. freaking filled with fix a flat. All right, all right. We got the wheels, we got shafts on that. So the wheel, how about give us wheels and 20 bucks and you can have the caliper in the seat? Why do you, no, I think it's just the wheels. I think it's even. I think that's an even I think trade. Just the wheels. I mean, what are you guys gonna I do? Think we get, I, I, I think we get. It was like a you pull and pay. I had to go take it off yeah. myself. So you never paid over. though. You pulled. Pick and pull. You gotta pay. I know that's how it works. You pull it and then you pay. Now I'm paying for it. That's we good. also want whatever is in your pockets. I will right, give you ten bucks. <laughs> you got any empanadas? We'll on We'll give you ten bucks. That's a check. All right, all right. Ten bucks. You gotta go buy. Oh, James is checking fair market value. Ten bucks, and you gotta go buy. I got, a, I got a hard one. Bang for Cooper. <laughs> uh, a Baja Blast for James. Okay. Uh, regular that one's off a regular mountain dog. Good luck with the Baja Blast. That's such a good deal. Yeah, I want to go to the That's a good deal. Dude, these are sick. It was. Oh, let's weigh it while we go. Let's get the scales over here and weigh this puppy. I got the briefcase. So, guys, right now we're going to scale the cart, see what it weighs, see what the balance looks like. You know, ideally it's pretty even front to back gonna be tough side to side I think we'll be a little bit 
we'll be close to that 50 50 mark. I'm 215 pounds, so that engine's about 250, I think, 300 maybe. And hopefully it balances out. Hopefully our theories all came together. What is it? What is it? 8.40. No! Yeah. It's gotta be so fast, how much? 7.54. 754 pounds. Dude, we're gonna be under a thousand. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like it's gotta be. They're gonna be like 900, 950. Oh my gosh, dude, this is perfect. All the weight's on the passenger side. Get in there, buddy. Oh. My God, dude, it is perfect. Okay, so we're a little bit, I mean, I wish we had a sway bar, but this is pretty good. So we're 289 pounds in the back right. We're 267 pounds in the back left. 205 front right, 175 front left. So we're a little light in this corner, a little heavy in that back right corner, but this is all way closer than than I thought it'd be. So, looks like we're about we're about 59% rear, 40% in the front. I mean, it's it's got a 60 40. It's gonna do wheelies. There's no doubt about that. So, what's our total? With you in it, it's 914, 915. It's bouncing. Show 916. It's 263, 273 side to side in the rear, which is. That's the best yeah. we're going to get. The front, though, is what we're going to have to address because 25 pounds, it's 30 pounds heavier on one side of the front than the, the other. Yeah. But so I'll we can hang. Gear on, I'll have another 20 pounds of gear. Yeah, but you're, be you're behind that center line, the instant center. So we're going to have to address that front because look when you get out, it drops even more. It's 40 pound difference. Yeah. So we'll have to hang just a little bit of weight off this front corner. So, so when it does snatch up, it doesn't do one of these. It Holy lifts crap. Level. This is sick. Oh, dang. Dude, lighter than a motorcycle. No, okay. Not lighter than a motorcycle. Street bike's like 500, I think. 700 pounds. It's like seven. It said 750 a minute ago, but now we're at 712. Mm -hmm. Insane, dude. 150 horsepower, 700 pounds. That's a, that's a rowdy old girl there. They're about 18 pounds a piece. So one of these on this nose might be enough. Real close the good to news is, low. though, James, it's not as heavy as we thought, so it's going to be a lot less tension on the chain. So well, like, I, I was expecting to be, like, with the driver, that 9 to 1,000 pounds, and it's right there. Wow. Can we show them the deal with the, the new axle? <laughs> feel that. Yes. We are chaining out the aluminum axle for a solid chromoly shaft, so that should be a little bit beefier, but... That means we also have to change out our hubs, but Kevin got all this stuff, all the materials for 65 bucks. So really isn't that big of a deal. We should have done this from the start, honestly. Yeah. But at least we have the good bearings from the kit. Yep. So slide all this in. We can actually weld everything together this time instead of it being a uh, kind of a you know set screw and keyway deal. And We're gonna have welds. Big shout out to Mike at TRZ for letting us use his CNC plasma table. Yep. Cut up some material that I had That's laying killer. around. That's killer. Like, just to be able to do it right when I called. You know, we drove down this morning to Orlando and before we came here from Gainesville. So we've been driving since, what did we leave the shop at 8 o'clock this morning? They've been killing it. <laughs> so this well, we missed you for the last few days. Oh. Yeah, it's basically a TRZ rear end, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Call TRZ if you they, know. They know TRZ because we got the subframes from TRZ in the yeah. Corvette. Yeah, so. yeah. So well, we got some work to do. We got yeah. it pretty much done. Everything's done. We just got to swap out the rear end now. Sweet. But listen, guys, we're going to have an indestructible rear end, which is going to help us all sleep at night.
what? <laughs> Man, going to the eighth in that thing is gonna be wild. <laughs> yeah, that was the right. Well, he shifted and it started bouncing. At the same time. It's got 20 He's, pounds of air in those change. back tires. Yeah, those. They're like snap. basketballs right now. But every little pebble. Oh, I lost the chain or something. We gotta go get him. Slowing the chain off. This thing is so fast, dude. I mean, dude, overall it was insane. The axle is fine, everything is good, but the, the chain came off. I think it's, it rode off the skateboard wheel that we have. We might have to figure something out for that, maybe get some washers or something. The yeah. front piece we have the cover for it off the bike motor. Yeah. So if it gets if the chain gets slapping instead of it the came first off on thing diesel. Gonna, I lifted and then it came off. The first so. thing that's gonna come off is that front sprocket because it's smaller yeah. diameter. That case helps yeah. prevent that. Do you guys think it's gonna bunny hop like that at the track or is no, that just, you have, there's okay. 20, a lot of tire? There's too. twenty yeah, pounds of there's twenty pounds Woo! of air in these, so they're like basketballs. Hey. It was carrying the left There's right 20 tire. pounds of air in those? Yeah, dude, yeah, I was like, I ah! was in full throttle because I was riding it. I could feel it coming up and I was like, hell yeah. You did great. We got a broken CBR 1000 golf cart. We got some work to do on it tonight, some improvements to make. We're gonna run it at my house in my driveway and try and figure it out, make sure it's all good for tomorrow. But overall it ran good. Everything seems good. We'll get the chain back on. Hopefully this doesn't become a recurring chain's issue, on. but. Chain's on. Chain's on. Okay, so I'm gonna drive it back right now, load it in the trailer. We'll see you guys tomorrow, so it's like way race day well. is coming, dude. Oh, but that's so it for now. That's, dude, we'll build, is Build Wars over? Yeah. Sort of. Build Wars is over, dude. It's race time, so. Yeah, well, they're still building. Woo! Clean some cars tomorrow, good. guys. Thanks for watching. Do it for the old freaking. See you later. All right, guys. Golf cart test number two. Made some improvements to our chain tensioner. See it down in here. We widened the skateboard wheel, the two skateboard wheels. <laughs> we're, we're struggling to get her out of the garage. What do you know, dude? Unbelievable. Hey, Godspeed out there, brother. We're gonna kill it. And then we're testing this too. Uh, get, get this thing out of here, Doug. Hey guys, we're coming to you not so live from Battlefield. <laughs> doing things with people. There's our test dummy, Demix Skeeter. Probably fair to call him a test dummy, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I can feel the, the heat. On my face. That's how I got burnt. I got too close to these lights, dude. Think about it. That's a cool story, dude. But you're blocking my uh, my car. I'm filming. Hey, uh, we're trying to do well, something important. Hey, yeah, day. there's Everybody's stuff going on here, man. Hope we don't get hit by a chain.
on the side of the driveway and I'll do a flyby. Alright. I think he found a formula. Yeah. <laughs> look at the look at the marks right here where he dumped the clutch. Oh yeah. Can see them. Them Hoosiers. What do you think of that? That was pretty sick. And I know. That hurt the family jewels. Yeah. I can't imagine that felt great. How how high was it? Uh, so it was like, like 45 two, degrees. Yeah. <laughs> two or three feet. <laughs> Front end. Dude, if it didn't break through all that, we have built ourselves a strong machine. I think we got ourselves a bogger. All right. Hey, we're ready to race tomorrow. Well, let's go put some wheelie bars on. Then we'll be ready to race tomorrow. All right, guys. Wheelie bars are going on. Freaking sweet. Getting our tabs all welded in. Freaking Travis lost the fingernail. Travis, show him the fingernail. Oof. That's a pinch. It's gonna hurt. Dude, guys, my back is hurting from that wheelie. So we're thinking for the wheelie bars, we're gonna have two settings, right? Yep. So this is the race setting, about an inch off the ground. Well, maybe pull them out, but it'll be about an inch off the ground for the race setting. And then we're gonna have tabs up higher to where these will be up way higher. We're gonna put some weight on the back of them. So when it pulls off, just a little bit of power is enough to stand it up and hold it. And uh, that'll be a lot smoother on the transition down, not break my back. It's a competition. It's not all about speed. Sometimes you gotta be a little smart. So I think we can figure this out with uh, with some weight on the wheelie bars. <laughs> oh, wheelie settings. Kevin, what do you, th what's going through your head with all this? <laughs> yeah, baby. Spray painted the flag on the roof too. <laughs> Hell yeah.